it's Christmas week. Simulan natin ang ating programa with our news from Asian Journal. Asian Journal, the leading Filipino-American newspaper since 1991. Joining us is Annie Nepomuceno and here she is to start our news from Asian Journal. Hello, Annie. Hello, magandang hapon at magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. PNP chief seeks forgiveness for drug war deaths. One week before Christmas, Philippine National Police Chief Director General Ronald Bato de la Rosa has asked Filipinos for prayers and forgiveness for the now 6,000 deaths in President Rodrigo Duterte's violent crackdown against illegal drugs. He reiterated that Duterte loves peace-loving Filipinos and is not a supporter of senseless violence, but that he would he would kill those suspected of illegal drugs to save innocent people. Despite domestic and international criticism, the administration remains steadfast on its mission and will not back down from the anti-illegal drug campaign. Meanwhile, last week, Duterte confessed that he had personally killed drug suspects while he was still mayor of Davao, which the United Nations says should be investigated. All right, moving on to our second story, Annie. The Electoral College officially declares Trump presidency. On Monday, December 19, President-elect Donald Trump secured his victory after he received the necessary 270 votes in the Electoral College. After the electors sent in their ballots, Trump received 304 electoral votes compared to Hillary Clinton's 227 votes. Although the reality television star received more electoral votes, Clinton still won the popular vote, with the former Secretary of State garnering more than 3 million individual votes. The disparity in the results of the Electoral College and the popular vote prompted lawmakers to propose a change or complete the re removal of the system entirely. All right, and uh, we will uh, update you on the inauguration of President-elect Donald Trump here on Kababayan Today. Abangan nyo yan. And on to our last story from Asian Journal. Los Angeles introduces fund for immigrant rights. Following in the footsteps of the California State Legislature, the City of Los Angeles has announced a $10 million fund to assist undocumented immigrants facing deportation and protect their rights. If passed next year, the LA Justice Fund will allocate the funds to different programs that would assist immigrants in the legal process and grant them access to attorneys. The announcement is a response to the historic election of President-elect Donald Trump, who has proposed stringent immigration plans, including deporting millions of undocumented immigrants. The LA Justice Fund is a manifestation of Mayor Eric Garcetti's promise to protect the city's undocumented immigrants from possible dep deportation under the incoming administration. All right, and that's our news from Asian Journal. Uh, of course, Christmas is around the corner. Gusto po namin bumati sa inyo ng maligayang Pasko at manigong bagong taon. Annie, thank you so much. Merry thank Christmas. You. At Merry Christmas sa inyong lahat. Merry Christmas, G. Yes, Merry Christmas. At magbabalik kami dito sa aming programa. Don't go away.